So this is what you are going to get. Now when you add H plus, they will be neutralized and you will have a neutral form of this. Now CHX3 is called haloform. If it is chlorine, it will be called as chloroform, bromine, bromoform, iodine, iodoform. In general, it's called haloform. And that's why the name of the reaction, haloform reaction. Bottom line is, you started with this C double bond OCH3. Now, now, now haloform is CHX3. So haloform has 3X. And the method of insertion of X is this. You remove hydrogen, generate C minus, react with X2, insert X. So this X is added at the cost of one hydrogen. So if 3X is being added, if you want CX3, then that C must be having CH3 previously. So you must be having CH3. This group must be there. You must have C double bond O, CH3. If this group is not present, then this haloform reaction will not occur. And this haloform will not be produced. So you must be having CH3. If you have CH2, CH3, then the reaction will not occur. We'll have a practice of what kind of compound will show this reaction. But prima facie, we can understand that this has to be C double bond O, CH3. Fine. That's how, because three times the same process will occur. You will come at this stage, C having 3X, only when you previously had CH3. And from this stage, you will come to this stage only when you have this. And you will have this only when you have this, when, when you start with this. So a particular kind of carbonyl compound is going to show this haloform reaction in which you have methyl on one side of this carbonyl group. You can have anything on the other side, but on one side, you got to have methyl. If you don't have methyl on either side, then this reaction is not going to occur. So this reaction is used as a test for carbonyl compounds which have methyl on either one side of this carbonyl group. Now, generally we carry out iodoform reaction. The reason being iodoform CHI3. This is yellow in color. So the moment it is formed, we can see and we can learn that there has been a reaction happening. Bromoform is colorless. So even if the reaction occurs with bromine, so if bromoform is formed, you will not be able to identify it. So this reaction for the sake of practical organic chemistry is done with iodine. So that you get iodoform and you learn that something has occurred and you can identify that there was a methyl on one side of carbonyl group. So this reaction generally is done in the form of iodoform, not chloroform, not bromoform, but iodoform because this is yellow in color. Fine? Fine. So the bottom line of the whole discussion is iodoform reaction uh, we take, we do instead of chloroform and bromoform because iodoform is yellow in color. Point number two, iodoform or any haloform reaction for that matter will occur on a particular kind of carbonyl compound in which you have methyl on one side of C double bond O. Point number three, the first step of the reaction is the RDS because they ask you this. Because as you can feel that progressively the hydrogen is going to be more acidic and the reaction, the second and third step will be faster than the first, first step because the acidity of hydrogen has increased. And the last step will be easy because this C double bond o has become a weak C double bond o because of inductive effect of these three halogens. So the first step is the most difficult step. So the first step is the RDS. That's it. So that's the mechanism. So map this reaction, map the mechanism in your brain, give some time, note down the reaction mechanism and do it once on your own without looking at the mechanism. On paper, with pen, not in your brain, do it on pen paper. Then only you will see whether you have really learned the reaction. If you have learned the reaction, then the problems that we are going to solve, that will be quick and you can do it easily. So learn the reaction, write the mechanism at least once in your life on your own. Then the reaction will be your own. Okay, so let's start solving some problems.
So the question is, which of the following compounds will show haloform reaction? All right, so this is a list of compounds and you have to identify which of these compounds are going to show haloform reaction. So the look at the first compound, what you have to search is, you have to search for this kind of group. If you have methyl on one side of C double bond O, that's going to give you haloform reaction. If you don't have it, then you have, then that group, if that's a carbonyl compound, then that's not going to show haloform reaction. Fine, so let's start looking at it one by one. This has C double bond OCS3. And this is the one that we were operating on when we learned the mechanism, acetophenone. So this is going to give, no problem. This is methanol, this is ethanol. This has C double bond OCS3. CS3 is on the left hand side. It can be on any side, that doesn't matter. So this is going to show us, show haloform reaction. This do not have methyl on either side of C double bond O. On one side you have H, on the other side you have CH2. If you have CH2, only two halogens will come in. And then you have phenyl attached to it as well. And it will, it won't work out. You cannot get HCX3 out of it. Because you don't have a CH3 group on one side. So this is not going to show haloform reaction. 